Us anime fans are always on the lookout for the next up and coming show. Though 2020 hasn't been the best year for the anime industry, due to COVID-19, many scheduled anime have been massively delayed. So we've been forced to watch repeats of previous series and some other new shows that were luckily already deep into production. One of the best ones so far has been Yashihime, the promising spin-off to the classic Inuyasha. Welcome to the channel, and today we'll be presenting you with our analysis on why everyone should watch and be excited for Yashihime. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for more videos like this one. So, most hardcore anime fans, or those who have touched the classics already, know Inuyasha like the back of their hand. For those who aren't acquainted with the show, however, Inuyasha was one of the most famous shonen of its time, and one that I grew up with. Being the story of a dog half-demon who's constantly after a jewel of immense power known as the Shikan Jewel. After Inuyasha ended in 2014, things seem to have stopped with it. Hanyo no Yashihime is none other than the sequel to Inuyasha, which was based on the original manga of Rumiko Takakashi. It's actually the story of Sashomaru's twin daughters Toa and Setsuna, as well as Inuyasha's daughter Moraha. Sashomaru was Inuyasha's brother in the original anime, who acted as an anti-villain until he began warming up into one of the main protagonists. The series was licensed by Viz Media for North and Latin America territories, and MediaLink licensed it for Southeast Asian territories. The first episode aired just last week on October 3rd, 2020, first on Yumiuri TV and, and Nippon TV too. So, while OG Inuyasha fans might be in their 20s and 30s like today, that's not to say you can't enjoy dog-like demons fighting other demons at this age. The series takes place six months after the events of the finale of Inuyasha. Inuyasha and Kagame fight Nino Kubi that Kikyo sealed away right before meeting Inuyasha over 50 years ago. Now I know, blah blah blah, fucking get on with it already, broken. Alright, so here it goes. Years after Kikyo sealed up the demon, the daughters of Shoshomaru and Inuyasha sat out on a journey that transcends time. It's feudal Japan, and half-demon twins Setsuna and Toa are unceremoniously separated during a mysterious forest fire. Though Toa is desperately searches all around for her younger sister, she ends up wandering into a mysterious tunnel, which warps her into present-day to Japan. There, she's found and raised by Kagome Higurashi's brother Sota and his family. Kagome is the modern-day reincarnation of the feudal era Miko, and the main female protagonist of Inuyasha, who was born with the Shikan no Tama inside of her body before her 15th birthday. When Mistress Centipede snatched her into her family's sacred well, which also warped her in time 500 years into the past, so the start of Yashihime has many parallels to that of Inuyasha. Ten years later, the tunnel that connects both timelines has reopened, allowing the twin sisters to reunite. However, things have changed. Setsuna is now a demon slayer that's working for Kohaku, also from the original series. On top of that, Setsuna has lost all memories of her older sister. Eventually, the two girls reunite with Moraha, the only daughter of Inuyasha and Kagame, prompting the three young women to travel between the two eras on an adventure to regain their lost memories and solve the newly created crisis, which is deadlier than Naruku and the Shikan Jewel from the previous series, featuring three strong female protagonists in a well-known setting with characters both old and new makes for a very promising shonen that will definitely cater to young audiences while also bringing back the old fans of Inuyasha like me just for the sake of nostalgia. Wow, it's pretty good plot, isn't it? Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, blah blah blah, all that YouTube shit. Anyways, the creators of the series are obviously aware that they have a monumental task with it. This is not only a direct continuation of the journey of our original heroes, but it's also going to set the tone for Inuyasha fanbase moving forward, given the fact that it features not one, but three female shonen protagonists that finally aren't magical girls, even though we all love Madoka Magica, come on now. And while we won't spoil you on what happened in episode one, we do have to admit that it's definitely setting a good balance as a starting point for our new heroes. Through the framing device of a captured Toa being told the story of her uncle Inuyasha and Aunt Kagume, slaying a demon after the events of Inuyasha, the final act, the episode is already foreshadowing what's going to be the main conflict of the series, and will also start cluing the most clever and watchful of fans what's going to be the answer to the questions episode one has already posed us. It's almost like a prequel for the series, which mixes both clever characterization and nostalgia to bring back the previous viewers. 
It's clear that the creators want fans to invest early in these characters, from both old and new fans, and they are so pivotal to Toa, Setsuna, and Moriha's search for answers about their past. It's kinda like searching answers for your love life, and, you know, never really finding them until the end. Is that just me? Back to the show. The main issue with this kind of prequel episode is how it doesn't actually tell us much about our new characters' backstories, other than the fact that they're the daughters of our previous main characters. We don't really know the motivations of Setsuna, Moriha, and Toa, other than a few hints here and there. Moriha is kinda like Inuyasha, brash, abrasive, and action-oriented, while Setsuna is essentially a Sashomaru clone. Toa is sort of a balance in between the two. It's kinda like picking who your favorite child is. It's really hard for most people, but the answer is Moriha. All in all, Are Kara no Inuyasha, which is episode 1, is a fantastic start to Yashihime. It does a balanced job of setting up the new plot, the timeline, the characters both old and new, and the possible mysteries that will be unveiled in the next episodes. Who wiped out Setsuna's memories? Who was behind the forest fire? And more importantly, why did they do all of this? All of these questions will certainly be answered more and more every coming episode. If you're interested in watching the episode for yourself, and start investing time into what's probably the biggest shonen announcement of the year, at least in my heart, then you can watch new episodes of Yashihime every Saturday on Crunchyroll, Hulu, and Funimation. One of the highlights of the episode is how it shows us how much Kagame has grown ever since the final battle with Naruku. She's still a priestess in training, but she has newfound confidence and powers and her relationship with Inuyasha has blossomed better than any of mine have. Answering the questions of the finale of Inuyasha that left us kinda curious 16 years ago. So what are your guys' thoughts on Yashihime? Did you already watch episode 1 and think it has potential? I certainly do, because, you know, nostalgia and shit. If possible, at least in my opinion, watch the entire series of Inuyasha. My, it, cause it might be the best way to prepare for Yashihime. However, if you don't have the time or simply aren't into filler episodes, even though I don't really consider any of Inuyasha filler, even though objectively it probably is, then you should still be able to follow along pretty well with Yashihime, and I definitely recommend you guys try it out. Whether you're new to the franchise or you grew up with it like I did, I want to know new and old fans' perspective on the series as a whole. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Yashihime, or if you're a big fan of Inuyasha, let me know down below by commenting, I don't know, Kagume in all caps or something like that. I've been Broken Obsessed in My Otaku Ways, and I will see all of you lovely people next time. Yeah.